1879, a pastor asked Mary Ann Baker to write a hymn in reference to Jesus and the tempest. And she would write the song taken from Mark chapter 4, verse 36 through 41, as her reference point for this hymn. But this hymn became much more because she too was faced with a great tragedy. She too would would face uh, the tragedy of the loss of her parents. She also lost her brother and he had moved away. They lived in Chicago, Illinois. And they'd moved away. Or he had moved away. And so they did not even, were not even able to go and uh, get his body and return it to Chicago for burial. So again, this hymn is born out of great tragedy. In Mark chapter 4. And when he had sent away the multitude, he took him even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep in the pillow, on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. And he said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they were, and they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What kind of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? So you can see by the words of this hymn, that she was conveying the message in the midst of the storm if we will trust him if we will give ourselves in faith and believing that God can take care of the situation he can bring peace in the midst of the storm of course she passed away in 1921 and from this beloved hymn, so many have found great comfort and great peace. Now storms are going to come. That is no doubt there. You remember when Jesus was talking about the two men who built their uh, built their houses, one upon a rock, the other upon the sand. And he said the storm came, and the storm's always going to come. And he who built his house upon a rock, it stood. But he who built his house upon the sand, it fell, and it was a great fall. So the storms are going to come. Of that there is no doubt. The question is, who are we trusting 
in the storm? That is the question. Who are we trusting to be with us through the storm and to lead us out the other side? Now when he said, peace be still, that the, the, the sea became a great calm. In other words, there was not a wave, there was not, you know, there might have been a breeze, but there was, there was nothing. So here you have this storm raging. And their ships were not very big, but you have this storm raging and beating on that ship, this small fishing vessel. And yet when Jesus said, Peace, be still. There was a great calm. There was a great cease of the storm. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love and your goodness. I ask your blessing upon those having tests and surgery. I ask your forgiveness wherein we fail. Bless us as we labor and forgive us. For Christ's sake I pray. Amen.